My father went and saw his doctor. He had a little acid reflux, got a CAT scan. Doctor suggested he go see an oncologist. And within 15 minutes of seeing the oncologist, uh, we were told uh, he should get his affairs in order. If there was some way we could have detected pancreatic cancer earlier, he could have lived for another 10 or 15 years. A friend of mine referred me to Dr. Von Hoff at TGen, and it was a completely different experience. Unfortunately, the diagnosis wasn't any different, but Dr. Von Hoff took the time to explain to the family sort of the origins of pancreatic cancer and the cancer can grow in your body for a long time and doesn't manifest itself until the last stages. And that's why early detection is so important. Unfortunately, there have been no advances in the earlier diagnosis of pancreatic cancer, nor in the earlier diagnosis of ovarian cancer or other cancers. All we have now is just family history. But with time, we will identify what are called bad luck genes. The key is identifying those bad luck genes and follow those folks who have those genes as closely as possible. Tumor biopsies are typically used for diagnosis of cancer once you have a symptom, but that can only be done once you have a mass to biopsy. For a number of patients, it's often already too late, but what we can do with uh, what is now called the liquid biopsy is try and pick up a signature of these tumors in blood samples before they become symptomatic. That's where liquid biopsies can potentially be a great tool for early detection of cancer. The challenge with working with mutations is that they are fairly low in their abundance. So there are very low fractions of mutations present in your blood samples, especially in early cancer patients. So now what we can do with newer sequencing technologies is try and use them cleverly to try and identify that low level of mutation in blood samples. The reason so many women with breast cancer are being cured today is because it's caught earlier. It could be a blood test, could be a urine or a stool or a saliva or a breath test or something we haven't imagined yet. But we have pretty good evidence these blood tests are going to lead the way. After that, it might be something even simpler that we can actually follow every week and catch it as early as possible. TGen is on the cutting edge. This is the future of medicine and early detection is so important. And that's why we've got to put our money into figuring out ways to discovered this disease earlier.